So hello everyone and welcome back to some more Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. And before we start to be heading towards yeah. or forward in this region to Gul'dahar even, well, let's go and use the tracking, see what's been going around in here. So a large number of tracks are visible in the snow. They seem to come almost ev from every direction, all converging on a distant community of Gul'dahar. The tracks are mostly goblins, with a few orcs and a set of okra prints moving towards the tower at the center of the pass. If it's just a set, it probably should be just one, right? Before it was still at least a few, I guess. Recently, it appears the normally ordered war packs have disbanded and are wandering throughout the area. Alright. So, on let's uh, start our investigation of these regions, shall we? Though the small cave entrance leads only a short ways into the rock face. Coolio. And uh, considering I'm worried about any possible archers, I will move you into the front because you do have the highest defense against specifically ranged attacks. So it's preferable that you are the one that is seen first. Okay, cool. You guys go and shoot in there. Hmm, definitely taking us quite far okay. into here, right. which is good and bad, I guess. Uh, should be fine for I now, I guess. I me? did ask you guys to shoot here, so please do the thing that I request of you. That's the only like problem sometimes I feel that they're not doing the one thing I want. Yeah, just making sure that I remember what skills you had. Ready, Make you ready peace for with me. your guys. At your command. Yes. Thinking that they should be able to kill that relatively soon. Um, I My didn't have any yours. healing spells now, so it's kind of a problem. But I guess I will at least heal you a little bit, so we can be. And listen to maximum health we can be at this moment. Let's take all these, which at least we know are going to be useful. There, pretty much. Alright, let's uh, see forward. Although I want you guys to be at least a little bit closer. Mm, should I already... How long did the bless last? Because I could basically cast it before we are going there. If there is uh, going to be more enemies... Duration six rounds, so it's not that long. So I guess I should probably I save it a little bit later. Very well. Okay, yep, yeah, that's at least definitely more uh, bowmen. Yes, please shoot there. It shall be done. You have I, I it's just still not that many. I feel that I should Ready. be just Ready. using I'm my few spells. Are you ready for me? Unless I want to go and sleep, but again, yes. my enemies always bring out the best in me. At your command, Is that the case? Is right. that the case? Nothing more, really. Okay. Ready? Not a problem. I didn't mean to move too far Done. with you. I stand ready. Slowly move a little bit forward. Okay. At your that seems. Fineish. My sword is yours. I am on it. I. Mm. Oh, quite a lot Me? of the, the elite, specifically as in marshals. So, uh, yes. let's be at least a little bit reasonable. ready for that. No I want a taste of this. I'll split you, you do need to be careful not to be the one to get shot, but yes, I do think that this. Why did you walk so far? At least I guess you resisted it, but that's so annoying that you have to walk there when... Well, you did get blinded, but at least nothing more serious. But like, you didn't need to start moving there. You had an enemy that they could have attacked. Like, that's definitely something that I'm noticing as a problem with this, just even the standard attack script. Because you have enemy right next to you. You should attack it, not try to rush to the bowmen that, yes, are shooting you. So you're trying to defend yourself from them. 
but that's not the best way to defend yourself to rush there and not deal with the enemies that are right there with you. So, I wish, I wish, I wish he would deal with this a little bit differently, but that was at least very nice in general. Ready. Yes. Do see that there's a bowman here, so... Let me, that sounds reasonable. Okay, yeah, good. Done. That one is at least gone. I guess they can attack whatever they like want. And your command. But that can be so effective. The loot is mine. Definitely can be extremely effective. My sword is yours. Alright. Nice. That went pretty easily, to be honest. I would have expected more troubles, Aye. considering the circumstances of that many. But to be honest, the the spray definitely just fell mostly all of them. There's actually a box here, which I can check. It's a healing potion. That's nice. I stand ready. I. So I do feel that I have to be. A little bit always like um I don't know how many there is in here. We could use the plus. No. You can count on two arms. Stop attack! I do dislike that they decided to start killing you, the yes. bull people. Okay, that guy is the biggest problem. I am prepared. I attack yes. it. Uh you use even a chromatic orb, especially when My he's shooting our paladin. I'm here. Who does not resist the bullets nearly as well. Also, that's a lot of enemies. We got the bless, but let's uh, also do this. We can't get them all unconscious right now anyway. So why not? Seems like a reasonable thing to do. I guess girls might be a little bit... Me? Why are you good as gold? Okay, I guess it's the fact when I have the range parameter. They will be mostly ranged anyway, but there's no sense for him to walk into even possibly more danger by starting to walk all the way there. Because, yeah, that's just... Did I have the range for you too? Yes. I'm not... Sometimes I would like to not even have the... Maybe for him I could at least change so that he won't be... Even having the standard attack, even though it's annoying to then be... Unless there's something that is better, but no, that's just the fleeing is... Mm. They, I don't think there's anything that great, like, yeah, if I, I would be able to do something good, but... Uh, maybe for you I'll try to non, then I just will always have to be making sure that you what now? try so to shoot something, but yeah. Is. If they go and try to I get the ranged combat distance and then accidentally acro more enemies, that's definitely not a good idea. Nah, would it? Good. Okay, they are dead at least. We still have a bless, so... Let's use it to our benefit, although there is... Ready, I should have you again yeah. as the first Easy. one to begin on with. Me. Because, yeah, otherwise it's gonna yes. be a little bit more annoying. Don't up. want archers to be shooting you specifically. Aye. And yes, know how to get into a ranged combat, please. Don't need to walk all the way there. Ready. Right then. My sword, it shall be done. I'm easy as goblin pie. Okay. All of you, you don't need to shoot that. That's a Goblin Archer module. Let's go for that target specifically. Get the Chromatic Orb on it even. Yes. Uh, I guess you could do the one command if you're gonna sleep soon right. anyway, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. I stand ready. That should be okay, I guess. Not a problem. Let's spill some blood. Go there. Count on me. You attack there. And you get on the move too, please. Ready. You have a good amount of health at this point, so that's all good enough. Should be anyway. Mm. Yep, not too bad of an attack. Mm. That was way worse of an attack. I definitely can say I like that. 
Roger. Use your defensive stance so <laughs> won't be able to accidentally kill you. Because I definitely would not want that. Um, yeah, this should be the end of yeah, the map right. though, so there surely shouldn't be more enemies in here, right? Here so we can just explore well. this spot. We could even indeed travel from here, but it uh, feels a little bit weird. Yeah, I know. Everyone has to be present to do that. I can see a little bit of the world down there. At your command. I, I'm here. If only I could cancel your defensive stance, but I can't exactly do that. But I don't think we can then really risk me. going future before camping. So let's just explore at the end here, because there shouldn't be anything more in here. And after that we will camp. And uh, hopefully that will go good enough as well, and we can actually explore some more. We got at least a lot of goblin skills. Nothing else encountered at this point. Yeah, basically half of the map explored with one sleep, so it's not too bad. Let's go back to the good old past to be ready to sleep. Huh, our hermit has gone to sleep too, I guess. Back to sleeping is like... Everything's done and clear. Now I can go back to sleep. Ah, outside camping is definitely the best, though. There's no rats anywhere. Just like in the dungeons and uh, hotel rooms, in rooms, there's always those rats and mouses just scattering around, and that's definitely not a nice spot for having that a goblin marshal come. Well, that's fine, though. Oh. Right dealt with that, so let's try to sleep some more. Still no. I st I they don't want to allow me to sleep. I just want to sleep. Hey, come on. Shouldn't be that many. One I little march all the time just coming in. Hey, I wanna. I wanna attack you. I wanna sleep. You'll soon sleep with the dead. Come on. I've used all my spells, basically. Maybe the curse could be moved into a heal. So that we can at least have one healing spell, considering. Come on! How many times do I have the rest? At your command. Guess this is just well. extremely dangerous spot, but we don't really have a safer location to go into, so that's a little bit of the problem. Unless I travel to Gulgahar, but that would not have been what I would have wanted to do. 16 hours of rest so that our dwarf was able to actually heal completely. Well, at least we finally managed to do it, and it's a daytime which we can continue our exploration in. That's nice. Uh, let's continue nonetheless from the right side as we went there and then go towards that, considering that road kind of then loops into there, just kind of just ends. So many bodies, so many lootable axes and bows and everything everywhere. Hey, there's an item. Go loot the items. Yay, a healing potion. We can definitely give this, uh, get this into our inventories. You will take this one into here. Our okay. ranger happily gives it. The mill wheel is stuck in a frozen creek. Though it shows signs of heavy use, there appears to be no way it could operate in its current environment. Well, Maybe it's this cotton indeed way I colder. You can count on me. And a goblin marshal who we can actually shut yes, to. That sounds reasonable. So of course that's exactly what we would be I doing, right? I shall see to it. Shutting the goblin marshal seems the safest thing to do. Hello. What am I doing here? Well, it looks like you're looting and pillaging this mill. Hmm, oh, what, do you, what do you mean, good goblin marshal? I mean, what am I doing here? I don't understand why we were called here. Called here? What do you mean? 
It's like clawing in my stomach when I'm hungry. I must have eaten everything this damn pass and it won't let me be. Why can't I make it stop? <laughs> Maglybiak, make it end. Maybe we can find yours. you something to eat. But yeah, it did look like pillaging, so... Let's see what's inside here. Will we have as friendly folk as this person was? Which I doubt. Well, they do like to speak a little bit, Aye. which is kind of surprising. Um, I'm not really sure about Aye. if it's worth the risk going with them ready. to try to talk. Very well. Nope. Oh. Who are you? I am Olikar, chief of bleeding eye. Bow before me and pay tribute. <laughs> Smelly morons. Are you serious? Do not mock, chief of bleeding eye. You keep tribute now or die. Hmm... Well, sorry, but I'm not going to give you a tribute. You insult me. Fools will feed on your flesh tonight. Oh, we'll see about that, I hope. <laughs> I hope we'll we see go? about that one. Orc, orc, and orc. At least all of them are you just the normal orcs. Well. But uh, still. Uligar. No. Maybe. Just and shoot, me. sure, and... Yeah. Um, what was I thinking me. about? I was I thinking about doing side. the command, actually. Attack! Okay, nice. Yes. Yes? You guys go Stand and try to hit that. There is some sort of a scroll on the ground, which I kind of like. Right. Those silly little dwarf hell. not trying to hit because of me changing how I uh, would like them to do. Blur. I like a blur. Food and short horn. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Let's have a look what we have here. I'm not sure which one should try to get the blur. I don't know. This you can get some extra arrows there and a little bit into here. At least all the otherwise equipment is given. So a Merry Shorthorn. The Merry Shorthorn was once owned by the half elven bard Rofia Copperfire. She took the small instrument everywhere. Despite its rather meager powers, the Merry Shorthorn is among the most well traveled magi magic items in Faerun. It is believed that Frofia took it with her to a number of elemental planes, to Elysium and Pator, and from the spine of the world to the distant reaches of Va. It ent entertained Pesis in Kalimsan, quelled the anger of holy slayers in Zakara, and bolstered the crew of sailors in the Sea of Fallen Stars. The merry shorthorn was lost when Frofia accidentally dropped it somewhere in the great desert Anaurok, and then somehow it got all the way back in here. Charge abilities, less once per day, but it's once per day, so that's actually not too bad, because then it means that I can do it again later. And it's only for a bard, so certainly you can have that. Now we have a secondary bless with her, so definitely not too bad. I'm very happy with, about that find. Aye. Very much so. Okay. Coplins. That does lead somewhere else. Yes, indeed. I Is that all? Let's go and attack. At least these are just the basic coplins, so should be fine. Should be fine enough. Indeed. And they have absolutely nothing of interest. Hmm, I do, do see call. that though. Whatever it command. is. What now? I guess I could try to be searching for traps too, though. I still doubt that there is any Ready. yet. Ready. But oh, there's a there's a child there. I'm on it. Dahlia, you're up. 
You can talk to children. And Jeremy. Shh. Be quiet or the goblins will hear us. What's your name, little boy? My name is Jeremy. I lived here at the mill uh, with oh, my dad and my sister. The goblins got them. Aww. Get used to it. That is hilarious. Ha 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 ha. How lovely. I'm sorry. I know it can't be that comforting for me to just say it, but it will be okay. Let me take you to the village. I'll find help for you there. Don't worry about me. I'll go to the temple in Guldahar. I know the way. Now that the goblins are dead, it'll be easy to get there. Bye. There is one outside, but I guess he's not that hostile. Farewell, Jemsy. I'll see you there. Yay, cleric level. Let's see what we get. Six hit points, not amazing. At least not the lowest possible, I guess. But level two spell, yay. Level two spells, even. I'll just decide what I would want, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. I do generally speaking like Shanting, that's of course a better heal. Find traps, hold person. Hold person is amazing, of course. Well, I guess I'll take that. Usually this is at least something you can do from further away then, like be hitting with the hammer. But you didn't specifically have a hammer specialization, so I think it's not as good for you as it could be. Slow poison, silence, of course, at least in the future, will be great when we have more spellcasters that we fight against. But at the moment, at least it's pretty small amount that we do. Enchanting. Casting time on this is just really long, so... That's the main issue of it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Every plus one bonus to attack rolls, minion damage rolls and saving throws. Damage ro dice roll for effect outside of weapon pace damage is reduced by one. 66 fireball will do 65 damage, I guess like from the opposing enemy to us. Um, the priest enemies suffer from the opposite effects, or is it our... Um, Negative things. I'm not quite 100% sure. But multiple sounds are not cumulative. Of course, enemies suffer the opposite effects. Yeah, it's good. But I'm not sure if it's as good right now. I'll take at least one heal. All of those raised by one. Alright. Huh. It could be fun to try to sometimes use the no alignment because it's not like I've ever really used it. Could be fun. Not that I need it, at least in these combat situations though, I'd say. An 8 I've never really used. In here, with this difficulty, I think it still can be decent. Of course, it just can give temporary hit points, etc. One round plus one round per level. I think later it will be kind of better, considering then it will last for a longer time, though. Um, sad or another hold person? Duration two rounds per level. It's not too bad. Including towards um, affected creatures, yeah. All of the orcs and the likes are also affected, so it's pretty nice. So, I guess I'll just take that. I think the more of uh, debilating or things that will be making them tougher to do the annoying stupid stuff is good, as in moving and stuff. Blur. Blur causes the wizard's body to become blurred, shifting and wavering. This distortion gives the wizard plus one dual saving throws and all missile and melee attacks. Have a penalty to hit. I like Blur. I think you need it more, especially if you're gonna be sometimes looking for traps and can have extra issues with that too. Having to be doing that 
portion. So having plural would be nice. But uh, I don't know if I want to risk already trying to learn it. <laughs> That's the main My thing. Well, good thing that we got I to save fine. him. Join Axis. I guess we can pick them up. And give them to him for use at some point if he needs something that he needs to just throw some axes rather than just uh, otherwise walk about. Sounds on chance, nice. This is part of the mill's machinery. Despite the recent presence of goblins, it seems to be intact. Hmm. Alright, that's about it in that. Oh. I do not like you being so close I to our bard. Understood. No. I'm here. All of you. I am here. You, here. you, I... you can attack there. That's you a martial archer. Take them I down. Just nope. because this enemy is right next to you. Okay, good, it's dead, but yeah, I was a uh, little bit worried about it. And willing. Eh, it should be yes. fine. Mm. I think you can already go there to fight against I that guy. I stand ready. You go there, yes. everyone else concentrate on this guy, because you should be able to get a nice hit with, yeah. At your command. With him being on the ground, and then you can just get an ice hit during that time. Okay, good stuff. My sword is yours. Doesn't seem that this is leading anywhere else, though, so at least the meal is completely clear from goblins now. Duty That's calls. good. I am on it. That's good. Yeah, that's uh, nothing more in there at the very least. Eh, you can see uh, this human corpse here. I am on it. The mother and father. Hmm. Well, your troops inside are kind of dead. Let me know if I'm on it. The pain. I, I, am I just on feel it. wrong to attack him when he's not attacking us, which is kind of. The surprising term of uh, events, after all, you would expect him to be more aggressive, but he isn't. He isn't, and I don't quite know why. But good progress, regardless. All right, there's a big tree. My enemies always bring up the best, and half the loot is mine. You'll soon sleep with the dead. Good. No hits that they would have managed to get into us I successfully. I stand ready. I shall see to it. This seems to be the tower that was mentioned in the center with the ogre, though, I'd say. Definitely. This window seems to be for a watchtower and are ideal for sentry archers. Not that it's been in use for a while. He is a friendly guy. I friendly ogre. Orders. And it does seem to be reasonable. just one, though. Hello. He will smash your face! Head hurt! Why you make Garak's head hurt, skinny people? <laughs> because you're big dummy, haha! -ha. What's wrong with your head? No, no. Walk here from my cave. Need no... Need to answer call. I cannot. And the head, it hurts. Garak wants to pound head against the wall to make the head okay. I think that's an excellent idea, Garak. Hitting your head against the wall as hard as you can will certainly make the pain go away. <sighs> it's an old Rekidman barber in Remedy. Try it, you'll see. That's funny, but I just can't do it. Like, even though I know that he would basically be my enemy in both circumstances, but I still can't, so... You stupid oaf. You know, Garak, I don't think that's a very good idea. Mm, maybe you're right. No, no, what to do? Good luck, Garak, I guess. Indeed. Good luck, our good little Garak buddy. We'll try to see if we can 
find something for you that could help. And I accidentally pressed that when I tried to not do such a thing. You can count on me. Okay. Let's move on. Ah, <gasps> it's a chicken. A friendly chicken. Hmm, that's a cave. My sword is yours. So that will take somewhere. Don't know where though. Aye. I don't know if we should risk going there without sleeping, Aye. to be honest. Just because we've used... We do have a decent amount of spells, but we've used some of the important ones. Yeah. We still have an okay amount. We just could have more. But let's try to go, I guess. We'll see how it goes. There's definitely a lot of goblins. I stand ready. I'm not sure I like that. Ready, Pi. You go as far as you I'm can here. immediately. You guys shoot. I'm here. Trying yes. to select you. Don't have much for us, but you do have bless, so do command. cast it. Um, sure. Protection from evil for yourself seems like you a decent choice. They have been eating a beetle. Okay. I hope. Maybe when they come closer, I will try to do the spray yes. with you. Otherwise, not really. I don't like this guy being My there. My aim shall be true. So many arrows coming. Stand and deliver. Yeah. Hmm. I watch me go. Me? Here I go. My sword is yours. What now? I I shall see to it. Hey. Do the spray. Ready. I stand ready. At your command. I guess that's okay. Stand and deliver. Yeah. I think he did get hit with it. No, doesn't doesn't look like he did. That's cool. So got that done. Oh, That's way. nice. You don't have really any other spells, so go and attack. I'm here. Is that all? <sighs> That's not too bad though. Go and attack. Forward. I'd kill for a hot bath right about now. Well, sorry, you don't really have that choice. My aim shall be true. Oh dear, there's even more in there. Be careful well, where you point that thing. I'm trying to at least want. ask you guys to specifically attack that away, though. My duty is clear. <clears throat> Let's uh, do some Bartic. Barticism. But, yeah, I, I guess orders. I do also have to stop you from necessarily doing the auto attack then because you do sometimes then go and stop already then well i'll think about it but yeah you do kind I'm of just decide side. to start shooting when yes. i don't want you to it's a bit cold for that don't you think i am prepared very cold yes yeah, you don't have anything else, but then all of you go and try to kill those archers in peace. Ow. That's definitely indeed something you need a healer for. Okay, you just use that immediately. You try to go and heal. You are trying to kill. Yes. Try to kill the archer. Okay, at least we got some more healing. I don't think you have... You do have the lay on hand, so do that as well quickly, please. I'm here. Uh, I think you should concentrate on those archers, to be honest. You go and just try to engage this guy. You guys... Oof, nice hit, nice hit. You got your revenge there. My aim shall be true. I definitely asked you guys to hit there. Life. Like, that's the only annoyance. I specifically asked them to target a certain individual, and then they My on their own decide true. that, no, this guy is closer, I want to shoot this guy. So that's kind of like... I would prefer you not to do that, when clearly I'm asking you to do something into this direction, but then it's annoying to always be... 
saying overall that they have to be attacking. I guess I could have tried to use this too in here. My sword is yours. But at least he survived. Even if it was extremely barely. But Aye. he did. Oh, that's good. Let's see the loots. Those are just short bows. A lot of short bows. At least arrows will always be useful. A few cold coins. Duty call. I just wonder sometimes, like, uh, how far away does it do the looting? Because it clearly doesn't take everything into account at once. Hmm. Ready. Now we definitely have used a lot of our spells, so... Duty call. Don't know how much future... Th oh yeah, there's a cavern there, so... Uh, probably yes. not the wisest choice to continue without sleeping. Hundreds of tracks indicate a recent presence of a band of goblins in the area. Some of the tracks are staggered in a way that leads you to believe a battle recently took place here. It seems as though the goblins attacked a pack of giant insects judging from the depth of the tracks. The goblins were likely weak and starving at the time of their attack. And that's why they attacked here to try to get some food when they were so starving. Clearly enough. Let me know what you want. But yeah, we don't have any more heals. No heals. Does seem extremely risky to try to attack there. I await. I'm on it. Me? No worries. Yes, very well. Let's just at least surround these individuals then, so that they're a little bit safer, maybe, <laughs> and uh, try to rest. Okay, we we got a safe sleep. That's nice. You can count on me. All right, beetles. Beetles, there be. Hmm? I am here. Beetles, indeed. Go and get what that. Now? Guess you can do the chromatic orb into this individual. Oh, well, that yours. one definitely got so, absolutely. Oh my ready. god. Not a you want me? I mean, the loot is mine. That was an absolutely ridiculous hit from that beetle. Alright. Yes. So, let's just uh, get also another orb uh, into there. Good as gold. Mm -hmm. Ready. Please, Go. I definitely ask you to hit this guy when clearly we need to kill it. Yeah. ASAP. And then you decide to do something else. I'm quite annoyed. Do the defensive stance, I guess. I, I stand ready. I have no sense. Okay, Alice is dead. At your command. You go and attack first and foremost, considering you're the one that has the best possibility to maybe just kill it automatically. No service didn't happen, but at least was decent amount of damages. Hey! Cave is cleared. We got some more of... Well, a little bit of gold and a little bit of gems. Okay, that's okay. We, we made it. Barely. True. Defensive spin. How much is your armor class then, though, is a good question. Not certain. I am on it. At least. At least the beetles be dead. There shouldn't be more in here, I think. Uh, doesn't look like it, so... That's about all of it, then. Then we can actually be heading towards Kuldahar. I think. Yeah, we definitely don't have anything for the poor old crop who is uh, having a headache, nor do we have anything for the food situation. Not that I, I doubt that there will be an answer to that. I do think that we can help him though. So that would be nice. I'll send most of you into here, but uh, yes. you there. Very Go well. and see this spot to the maximum, so just so that we can see it anyways. Well, our dwarf is even actually pretty fast already, but that's fine. That's fine. I like to see most of the map. 
even if it's like there's not really a good reason to go there, but shouldn't be too big of an issue otherwise. Oh dear. Are you ready for me? I did not think that there was a something still here. And there clearly is. Well, I don't want to risk his life, but I guess yes. the others should be Very coming well. here Watch then, that, when there actually well. is still something in there. Let me know what, yes. Probably here not here. much, but still. Whatever Might be say. that you can handle it yourself anyway, but... Just in case, just in case... I picked up something I didn't want. As in a dagger. Yay. Okay, it seems that that was all. <laughs> Oh, well, a few goblins that we almost let live here in the corner. Okay, let's go then and join our fourth right. friend here so we can travel forward. Yay. Place cleared. My sword is yours. And our dwarf is almost only dead. Only almost dead. There was some more arrows there, but I guess that's fine. It's not like we have to get each and every arrow in the world. Uh, yeah, I, I think we can just click on to the Guldahar and... Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kuldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. Silly how the text is so late, but yeah, I definitely, definitely like how cool the har looks. It's so cozy. It's a pleasant place. I, agreed. I think you should be in the front now, though. My leadership, I shall give it. Indeed, I, I do wish for your leadership in here. Absolutely do. Hello, Nate. I knew you'd make it true. I just knew it. Who are you and how did you know we were coming? I am Nate. Arundel said the, that help was on its way. I've been out here every day, giving a look out for you. Where's the rest of your army? Are you just the scouts or something? Who is Arundel? I don't want to immediately just disappoint him that, yep, we're, we're the only thing that you will get. And I love the music here. It's so lovely. Arundel's my friend. He's the oldest and smartest man in the whole world. He can talk to animals, you know. You should probably go see him. He'll be wanting to talk to you too. Very well. Where can we find this Arundel? He lives across the bridge, on the other side of the brook. Just look for the house with the three big rocks out front. Thanks, Nate. Farewell. Lovely, lovely music. Like across the bridge, you said. What's here, then? <gasps> Equipment shop. I like the sound of that. Before heading somewhere else. Acknowledged. Hello, good sir. Ah, where so the wind blows, travelers seek shelter and supplies, mayhaps. Good day and cheers to you, ma'am. My name is Kurt. I tell by the cut of your cloth and your bearing that you are a visitor, fresh to Guldahar. Is there something you wish to purchase? What is this place? This is my shop, friend. I supply caravans in the shade of this great oak. This shop was my father's and my father's before him, and it dates almost three generations back. If you can believe it, like many of the places in Goldahar and the surrounding lands, there is much history to be found in if one digs deep enough. Are you a historian? Nay, wouldn't go so far as to say that. I dabble in time's passage, perhaps, but it's not a full-time occupation, merely a hobby. I do enjoy learning more of the past and examining the trinkets from around the world, or the area. I have quite a collection, a little museum of sorts, some call it junk, but... You call it treasures? <laughs> what sort of things do you collect? 
keys, notes, books, and duration. If you happen to come across any on your travels, I'll play a fair sum to take them off your hands. Alright, if I come across keys, books, or documents that I may need later, can I purchase them back? Of course! I purchase those things only for my own interest and to preserve the history and culture of the region. They do not end up on rattling caravans to some Kalimshan market, that's for certain. Very well, may I see what you have for sale then, my good sir? As mummy's tea. Priest of Horus Re in far off Mulhorand. Where the first to create this life-saving potion, a foul-smelling brew, it is made by boiling used mummy wrappings along with natural desiccated animal remains. The resulting tea can be consumed to neutralize the effects of disease and certain afflictions. There's blindness, deafness, and disease. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mostly just the normal stuff. Some very normal girdle. Razors. Mm, it doesn't say that this would do anything though in here, which is kind of strange. I would expect that they would do something, but I guess not. History of the Nords. Some, uh, some liars for us. Another gem back if we need. The liar of progression was created by the bard Zedini Paletto. Zedini was a teacher of young aspiring parts during difficult times. This instrument, held close at all times, helped Zedini fight of those who would attack him or his students. When Zedini grew old, he passed it on to his best student, Galvan Alaman. Galvan continued teaching for a few years before setting out into the wilderness on a life of adventure. It is believed that he lost a lyre when he accidentally dropped it in a march. Okay, equipped abilities. Held under the left arm, this instrument allows a bard to memorize two extra second level spells and one extra third level spell. That is pretty nice, I gotta say. The Bardic Horn of Valhalla. This horn was created by the respected bard of a now dead wrecked barbarian tribe. The bard was called Beokin, and his songs are sung by many of the northern tribes. He carried this horn with him when he observed many titanic battles. The sheave of his tribe gave him the instrument with instructions to blow if he ever was in mortal danger. Beokin, too proud to ever call on his tribesmen for help, was killed in battle. The horn hidden under his cloak. But never used, but the yes, summons two to four berserkers once per day. Not worst, but definitely the light of progression is the one that I like better. That's for sure, Reese. We can definitely sell off those. And the Jasper sell at the very least. Gem. We could use identification, but we don't really require it. Anything I can check here in the shop to see some description. Doesn't look like it. Well, thank you nonetheless, good sir. That sounds reasonable. I guess there's... Well, there is something in this way. Just don't want to go immediately where he wanted us to go. <sighs> that atmosphere. With these effects. This just keeps on going. Whoever lives in this little tower over here. Oh. Yes, my duty I can talk clear. to you. Aye, phew, no sneak up on Vinok like that. Oh, yeah, that would be... <laughs> um, who lives here? Surely it's, this tower cannot belong to you. No. Tower belongs to master. Vinok only servant. Cleans tower, makes beds, cooks tasty food for the master. <laughs> uh, the master? Who is your master? Oruk, the master? Great wizard. The master is. Vinok serves the master, so one day he can be great wizard too. Interesting. I see. Where might I find this great wizard? The master is in study, through door. Go in if you want to speak with the master. Vinok, not allowed in study. Master keeps powerful magics in there. Books, papers and wizard things that Vinok not understand. Thanks, Vinok. Farewell. 
I don't have to kill every single little goblin there is. Let me know if my duty is clear. Hello. I await your or I'm on it. You definitely are a mage, Oric the Grey. You definitely have a Goldron doing something and then a lot of different type of skulls and all. Hello, good sir. Well, now, what have we here? It's been a long time since I have had quests. Welcome, my name is Auric. What brings you to my humble home? I would like to ask you some questions about disturbances in the past. Ah, oh, yes, the disturbances. I'm afraid I can't be of much help to you there. I rarely leave this tower for any reason, you see. My studies prevent me from taking an active interest in the affairs of the people of Guldahar. Their problems are no concern of mine. Hmm. Hmm. But you live in Guldahar. How can you not care what happens to the town and its people? I've had many homes. Kuldaha is not the first and certainly won't be the last. It is unfortunate that this simple folk have been made to suffer so, but I have no desire to get involved. All that matters to me is my work. What is so important about your work? Everything. Knowledge is the one true source of power in the universe. Everything else is fleeting. I have spent years collecting these tomes and scrolls you see before you. They are my life's work. Contained within their passages are the clues that may one day unlock the mysteries of an ancient and nearly forgotten arcane lore. What sort of arcane lore? My studies resolve ar revolve around the arcane law that deals specifically with the creation of Mythals. A Mythal is a powerful elven enhancement that is essential a v essentially a weave of protective magic that can be cast over a vast area. I've discovered numerous historical accounts of elven mages laying such Mythals over an entire city. Hmm, interesting. Tell me more. The details of the accounts are vague at best. The mages of the old Elven Kingdom vanished long ago, retreat into the safety and isolation of the Isle of Heaven Mead. It seems that all their written knowledge of Mutal enhancements has vanished with them. For over a decade I have travelled the realms searching for remnants of this forgotten law. That is what brought me to Guldahar. So you think that the answers you seek are here in the Kuldahar? Not exactly. While exploring the fabled ruins of Muft Tranor, I came across an old tattered manuscript buried amidst the rubble of an abundant library. The manuscript made several references to an elven outpost located somewhere within the spine of the world mountains. Naturally, I came here to find the settlement. Thus far, I've been unable to locate it. Well, if I come across any elven ruins, I'll be sure to let you know. I appreciate your interest. If by some miracle you find this lost elven outpost and happen upon any materials regarding mutals, please deliver them to me here. I am willing to pay a handsome reward for such a service. I'll remember that. Before I go, though, I would like to purchase some spells. I see. Oh, you've come to the right place. I can certainly provide you with a number of useful spells for your spell book. Of course, I am only willing to offer you certain spells. I fear much of the knowledge I possess is beyond your comprehension. Perhaps in the future you may be worthy of such advanced knowledge. Well, very well. What do you have to offer me at the moment? Alright, let's see. Sadly, it does look like he has only one spell of each. Which means that only one of the people will be able to try to learn it to begin with. And, uh, well, there is a risk of not being able to learn after all. Back of holding I like, of course. Who wouldn't like a good back of holding? And then there's all sort of other things, but <sighs> I would like to learn at least a few spells. Magic missiles would be really nice. So would be sleep. Kind of like that mirror image is extremely good, like extremely. I do like that too. 
These are starting to cost a little bit though. Cat's craze like is fine. Mm -hmm. The larger dice used if has more classes. 1d8 points. But after all, those all would be already enough to get to the 20 dexterity. Which is can be useful in some situations, certainly. Not sure if I want to buy that spell immediately, though. Bower word sleep, though. Ray of enfeebleness could be nice, too. I guess that's already a ton. Uh, well, and chromatic orf would be nice for the other guy. If he can learn it. If. Uh, let's buy them all, at least. And, uh... I'll save. And I definitely need to be able to learn at least that goddamn sleep spell with one of them, I'd say. So, just <sighs> to try to decide who will try what. You will try this at least. I'll give magic missiles to him. You will try to learn the sleep, I guess. Chromatic orb, of course, for him. This is like second level spell. If only I recalled how soon you would get second level spells, at least like when he just gets some levels, he can get that for certainty, but... I guess I can try to give this to him, and... This is also second level. I guess we could try to do like this. And uh, see how many goddamn spells you will fail to learn. Because you will certainly fail to learn at least some of these damn spells. You didn't fail that. Nor that. But that power word, of course you failed. At least you would have that. Power word sleep, so still I wouldn't have any sleep of any sort. Not even the power ones, so... Yeah, definitely don't enjoy that. Okay, at least you learned a lot though. I can't be relatively happy with that, but these two are so important. Okay. Oh boy. Only one power word uh, failed. So, I'm decently okay with that. I guess I'll have one chromatic orb and one sleep for you. I guess that should be fine. And then you have mirror image whenever you get to the second level spells. You, of course, just have one spell anyway at the moment, or only first level spells when you still haven't even leveled up. I guess that's that's the one that you're still gonna be using. So many spells that you could have if only you could get to the level up one time, one day. Well, basically you get the uh, level 3 teeth and uh, mage level 2 at the same time after all, so <laughs> it will take a while. At least all others will have an easier time leveling up. Certainly enough. Well, that's that's decent. I can't say Understood. that I'm too disappointed with the amount yes. of spells we learned. Like before, I felt kind of like we were in a very, very, very bad position with the spells. But right now, I feel that we are we are actually in an okay spot. We learned pretty decent amount. Like yes, I want to have him learn also preferably the power word sleeps and sleeps and all sort of other things. But still, that that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Not too bad. If they would have been like then, I definitely would have been tempted to have to do the reload or something if they hadn't been succeeding almost in any of the spells. Like, and it would be like, oh boy, what am I doing with me life? I guess here is probably the place that uh, Undoing lives in. I think we can leave the visiting him uh, for the next time, though, and then exploring whatever else there is in Guldahar, the nice little pretty place here next to the big, big, big tree. So I hope you enjoyed some more of the Ice and Tail, and thank you for watching. I'll see you for more next time. Bye bye till then.